I might get out of here in one piece. Alright. Oh, baby. Uh, we're moving now. So I'm going to go to Walmart. I always forget that. Oh, I'm going to end this. It's been seven minutes of me blabbering. Y'all probably didn't see any of that, bro. <coughs> that shit happens every time I um, start at my house and then start driving. Uh, we're going to Walmart. We're going to make sandwiches today. I'm getting a bunch of lunch meat and fresh bread. I got some books. Fuck. And now it's saying my balance is 108. I don't know what the fucking thing. Did y'all hear me say anything about the, uh, the X-Men 10? Or did it, did it skip all the way past that part? Did y'all hear any of that shit I was saying? So I watched the replay on the fight of the Logan Paul fight and the uh, Mayweather fight and I watched it all. I watched every bit of it and my thoughts on that fucking fight was that was definitely the worst I ever seen Floyd Mayweather. Uh, Floyd even just a few years ago was a lot better than that so i hope he don't come back 
because if if uh, Logan would have kept boxing like he did the first round, like dirty boxing, he would have won. The referee did a great job. The referee, you know, you got you can't break them up as soon as they uh, grab each other. You can't be breaking it up every fucking second they touch. So I felt like the referee did a good job. Um, I'm not going to go into LCS. We'll just check out Walmart. Uh, that, she's too fucking expensive anyway, man. It's always something. But, uh... My thoughts on the way... Floyd has made boxing... Fuck. I feel like I'm going through it with Dr. McCart. Okay. So back when I was a teenager, I used to watch Friday Night Fights, Tuesday Night Fights. All types of boxing was on cable, okay? And uh, it was, you know, you judged a fight and made decisions by the numbers, sure. But I also think there was an X factor of being the aggressor, okay? So that could dictate a lot of fights and it did back in the day back in the day 15 20 years ago if you was the aggressor and and the aggressor meaning you was the one pushing forward the whole fight you was the one initiating battle and all that shit that was important back in the day but after watching floyd's career for the last 10 years it don't make a fuck it don't make a fuck. It's probably better not to be the aggressor because you don't get no fucking, that's, you don't get no X factor for that anymore. Nobody gives a fuck. Uh, Logan was probably the better aggressor. I mean, and on top of that, like the motherfucker threw 110 more punches than Floyd. It was like 107 to 217 punches thrown. Now, I know, I think that those numbers heavily, uh, heavily fucking benefited Floyd, Baron Logan, because I saw more punch, I saw more jabs land from, I mean, not solid, but they did land more than seven fucking jabs. Like, there's no way in those eight rounds fucking Logan only landed seven jabs, bro. Like, I don't know what those refs were looking at or judges. It didn't matter. It didn't matter. The only way Logan could have won is if he knocked him out. So it felt like a Floyd win. It felt like a Floyd win because every time Floyd wins, it's a fucking decision. You know? So it automatically feels like Floyd won. But the truth is, is nobody fucking won. <laughs> so he basically... <laughs> It was an exhibition, but he basically tied with this just a YouTuber piece of shit motherfucker, you know? So I kept hearing people, the greatest boxer, the greatest boxer ever in our lifetime. And he's not the greatest in my lifetime. I can name fucking five or 10 fucking boxers better than Floyd. Like, okay, he's undefeated, sure. But uh, that don't make him the greatest in my mind. You know, I got to see Ali box. I seen Foreman. I seen fucking uh, Tyson, Holyfield, Lennox Lewis. Them motherfuckers were pretty good, bro. Those motherfuckers are pretty good. And I would, if I had a choice in between uh, a lot of their fights and a lot of fucking Floyd's, I would have picked a lot of their fights, bro. Um, there's even fucking super tiny guys I like better than Floyd. Uh, I like Oscar De La Hoya. I like fucking um, not Pacquiao. There's a Puerto Rican boxer I liked a lot. I can't remember his name, but so I just think it's interesting. I just think it's interesting how we went from giving 
boxers that were the aggressors <clears throat> more love as opposed to now and I feel like Floyd is a big part of that I feel like Floyd being the defensive guy that's always countering and shit like that uh, played a big part of why aggressors don't get more calls um, I think it's fucking interesting I don't know when when everything flip flopped but uh used to be aggressors got a lot more love than that man so people were gonna think I'm crazy but I mean a guy throws 217 punches against a fucking pro boxer I would have thought that Floyd would have had to throw more punches before the fight fought before the fight happened you would think the little guy would have I mean it makes sense he didn't want to initiate because the guy's so big and shit um Floyd did land I couldn't believe the numbers for how many fucking power punches they said Floyd landed I think they said Floyd landed like 27 or 30 fucking power punches where where the fuck were these power punches at bro it was just shit to keep people keep uh Logan off his ass it wasn't like power punches though if anything fucking Logan threw off more power punches it was some weird shit in them numbers, bro. They were pretty close. And uh, I was, <laughs> I would think, I didn't see Floyd throwing that much, bro. I, didn't, I think they gave Floyd more and gave fucking Logan less. You watch the fight with my eyeballs, and I saw it way different, bro. You know what I mean? I don't know if y'all watched it, but it was pretty weird. Either way, like, it's, it's, it's embarrassing as fuck to say, like, 30 pounds can fucking change a fight that much to where supposedly the greatest boxer ever is uh, going the distance. Thank you. With, um... But the fucking YouTube guy that's had one fight, he lost. Like, that's fucking crazy, bro. I hear you, Sorry. Oh, you're good. Um, I'd like two packs of Marlboro Red. 100s in a box, please. Yes, sir. So it was 1478. Okay, and 322 on pump nine. About 20. The gradation. I'll tell you another thing that's been bothering me, man, is uh, is middle-aged fucking women. They are the most rude motherfuckers you run into when you go outside anymore. These fucking uh, Karens and shit out here, they, they are multiplying by the thousands, dude. It was trash, Tapu. That's uh, what she said, great man. 
He looked a lot bigger. He did look a lot bigger. They were both there for the money. Logan and the fame. Cash and simple, all that. Entertainment, just entertainment. That's it. Floyd was there. Floyd was there for the check. I didn't fight anywhere for that. Pac-Man is okay. I'd rather see my daughters go at it instead. I watched all of Me and my buddies used to watch boxing all the time. And, uh... It's not something you are able to understand unless you, I mean, unless you're fucking smarter than me. It took me about two years of solidly watching it to understand a lot of it. Uh, I can't box for shit. I know, I know more about, about the sport than being able to do it. That's for fucking sure. Cause I'm not that great at boxing. I, I boxed my buddy once, right? And uh, he was like, come on, let's go box. I was like, I ain't fucking boxing you, bro. You, you fucking practice. You know, you train with, like, our other buddy that's, like, a real damn near amateur boxer. I'm not boxing you. He's like, how about I wear gloves and you go uh, bare hand? I'm like, are you fucking nuts? <laughs> I said, if I catch you once, I'm going to knock you the fuck out, bro. Like, th in a real fight, I'd fight the dude, but in boxing, like, I knew I was done. So, I'm like, all right. I like, so when I hit you, you ain't gonna get mad, right? And he's like, no, I ain't gonna get mad. <coughs> I'm like, all right. I was like, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll go bare hand, you go fucking gloves, right? And, uh, we're boxing, we're boxing. I get through the first couple minutes. I don't really get I don't really get clipped. I'm going that way, bro. I'm going that way. He, he thinks I just want to get in this lane. I want to go. I'm going towards that way. I'm trying to get the fuck this way, not that way. So, um. Anyways, long story short. His big gloves are in my way of knocking the fuck out of him, right? And uh, he he jabs me in the nose, breaks my shit, and I'm a gusher, bro. If I bleed, I bleed heavy. So I'm bleeding, 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 and uh, it like concussed me enough to where I had to I called I called to get a ride for my girlfriend and she's like what happened I said oh I slipped a bell busted my face she's like she's like yeah right I said no nah, that's what happened <coughs> so I'm still bleeding and shit she comes to pick me up I didn't want to tell her I was boxing got my nose broke but uh that's what happened so I was like I ain't no fucking boxer I'm not boxing now in a fight like when you could grab and cheat and shit and if I'm angry enough I could fight a lot better but boxing straight up you gotta have a lot of endurance for that shit man and just throwing your arms and shit is enough to wear you out so I'd have to have really good cardio before I tried that shit but um it's just fun watching boxing cause just to be able to tell what punch landed and knocked out somebody like while you're watching is pretty impressive like right hook right uppercut left jab left hook you know shit like that it's like a lot of people can't see that shit like i got bad eyes anyway but uh you can almost see it coming too before it happens like you could see like when somebody's hands are down and the guy's setting them up if you watch enough boxing and shit you learn a lot of shit but uh so yeah, I, it was a shit show. It was a shit show. Um, super disappointed in Floyd. I knew coming into it that uh, he might lose because 
The last fight he had with Conor McGregor, like, Conor was... If you watch the first four rounds, Conor would have won that fight. And Floyd's got this habit now of the first two rounds of a fight just not doing shit. Like, he, figured you should, he figures out what kind of boxer you are, I guess. And then just counters the whole rest of the fight. And his countering is just him jumping backwards and tucking his fucking shoulder. Like, that's, that's the greatest boxer, is jumping backwards and tucking your shoulder. Like, that's your best, that's the defense. He don't do nothing else. Show me something else he does besides jumping backwards fucking three feet and tucking his shoulder. That's all I seen last night. That's his go-to shit. He does this jump away fucking jab bullshit. It's not fun to watch. It's not fun to watch somebody get a decision, decision. You know, unless you're a diehard. I was diehard Floyd fan going up against Pacquiao because I felt like Pacquiao was a cheater. I felt like he was on steroids. I felt like he was up to bullshit. Pretty sure Canelo was cheating. A lot of fucking, there's a lot of dirty shit in boxing. And Floyd wasn't a dirty dude. And he was smart. He's getting, he's getting fucking dumber. Uh, the whole got your hat shit with uh, Jake, that was fucking genius. I'll tell you why it's genius. You think it's little kid shit, but uh, about four or five months ago, Floyd flew out to Turkey and had hair transplant transplants done on his head and his beard. Okay? So subliminal psycholo psych psychological games was played with that shit. I got your hat. I got your hat and everybody sees your old middle-aged fucker that gets hair transplants on your face and your fucking head. So that was genius. That was, that might have been the most psychological fuckery shit I've ever seen in a weigh-in. I've never seen anything that scientific in my fucking life. Like, I don't know if, uh, I don't know if fucking Jake put that together, but he's so good at that shit. He might have. He might have. I'm sure by the time he'd done it, he figured it out. But a, a normal motherfucker would just look at that and be like, oh, he took his hat. He's a little punk. He's a fucking bitch for doing that. No, there's a lot of psychological fucking warfare in that shit. That was fucking genius. That was fucking genius, bro. Like, I get a little fucking annoyed with my hair. Like, I got gray hair and shit, and I got, uh, I don't have the greatest haircut and shit. My hair looks good when it gets burned down and shit, but, uh, people get self-conscious. At least I'm not going bald. Like, I know guys that are going bald. I couldn't imagine what that's like. That's even worse. So... I don't know if y'all heard me talking about the X-Men 10. I'm probably going to be getting you know, all the bitching about the credit card stuff or whatever. <coughs> but, um... Yeah, I think I'm going to go after that. I like that slab and everything, and it's a book I've been wanting, and it looks cool as fuck, and all that shit, and Neil Adams don't really do X-Men that much, but I can't miss out on like a 1 through 10, the, I was thinking I'd, it'd be months before I got that X-Men 10, it'll probably be gone by the time I get my money right, I don't think anybody in our community would want it, like I'm the only fucking person that buys detached covers and pieces of the cover missing and shit like that, and I don't know, I don't know anybody that really likes even a low-grade hero don't ain't as fucking as grimy as I am. Like, I'm a grimy dude, bro. I'll take tape covers. I'll take hole-in covers. Uh, .5s, 1.0s. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Because usually, if I can get a fucking book for 100 at a 1.0 or 1.5, and a 3.0 is $200. I'll just take that 1.0 because at least you got the cop, at least you got the book. Like, sure, it's better for 100 more, but you're paying twice as much just for it to look better. 
you know, like, just get the fucking book. That's the way I, I fucking do shit. If I'm paying twice as much to get a book, and certain books I don't fucking do that with, but some of them I just don't care because nobody has the book anyway. Like, just having the book is cool, you know? Like, how many people do, do you know that has a X-Men 10 First Gazard? I bet my boy Doc has one. I know that most of my friends don't. I don't know anybody that's got the fucking book. Off the top of my head. That's the shit I like the most. I like the shit that is nostalgic and everybody knows about, but nobody fucking has. Because they're too busy getting other books, you know? So, who the fuck would go out and want a fucking X-Men 10, right? Like, nobody. Like, I'd like to have an X-Men 2. I almost got an X-Men 2 a couple times. And, uh, ended up changing my mind and getting something different. Which is probably smart, but... X-Men 2 is one of the most undervalued books there is. These bitches just got their asses out all over the fucking place up in here. Oh yeah, well I was talking about middle-aged women. Middle-aged women are some of the nastiest, foulest attitude-having motherfuckers these days. They are fucking rude, bro. Like men aren't even that rude. Men are nowhere near as rude as these middle-aged fucking uh, bitter ass lumpy dumpy looking fucking women bro they are I was walking through uh, my, my pizza joint I go to all the time and uh, this bitch was standing in the, in the like hallway to get through the door and she's just standing there right so I walk through, I open the door, I walk through, and the bitch says, excuse me. And I said, excuse what? I said, what are you talking about? She said, ugh. And then she walked away. I'm like, you fucking bitter old hag motherfucker. Like, what in the fuck did I do to you? I fucking walk through here while you're standing here. What do you want me to do? Like, stand out here and wait? And what the fuck is, I seen you just standing there. Like, what do you want me to do? You know, like, I can't, I can't believe. And I was just in that, that gas station. Every time I go out, I run across one of these fucking rhinoceros looking crazy bitches, bro. I don't know why, but it seems like every time I go out, there's some bitter ass middle-aged woman. Fucking, uh, Karens, bro. Every fucking time. It's amazing. It is amazing how many of them there are. I used to worry about running across cops because they pull you over so much. I ain't been pulled over in a long time. Knock on wood. I ain't got no fucking wood. Great. Look on my car. But uh, now I'm running into middle aged grumpy bitches every time I go out for some reason. They know you ain't gonna fight them or argue with them. What up, Nighty? Floyd is not getting enough credit. Both Connor and Paul cheated their asses off trying to. Bro, are you. Who's saying that? Aggressively. Kid had so much weight, so much age. He wasn't saying that shit before the fight. All he was saying before the fight was, I'm going to knock him out. He's unexperienced. After the fight, it was, oh, he was the younger man. He was heavier. It was just like, what? you? He tr Okay, how about the fact, how about the fact that Floyd, when he, uh, okay, so, when he boxed, who was it? I think it was Connor. He said after Connor, he would fight someone else too. He did the exact same shit in the Logan weigh-in. He said after Logan, I'll box Jake too. 
What about him just lying about shit and just not, and no, never fucking holding up his end of, like, he says shit that he don't mean, you know? And, uh, that's part of boxing, bro. If, if, if he's just going to get the simple break as soon as they touch and clinch, then he's always going, he's, he's always going to have the advantage. Like, a lot of boxers got to get inside, and once they get inside, they pound you. I was hoping there was more of that. Logan didn't take advantage of it. I didn't see any fucking cheating, bro. And all the hugging and shit. That's why people were saying they were both hugging. Because Floyd was doing the same shit, bro. Floyd was hugging just as much as Logan, bro. Straight up. Like, that's what I saw. I saw, I saw Floyd grabbing a lot. He was grabbing Logan up a lot, bro. So... It's it's hella impressive he was able to do it. How old is he? 42, 44? I was worried, bro. I thought for sure he might lose. I thought for sure he might lose that one. Um I don't have a lot of I don't have a lot of faith in little guys. I don't have a lot of faith in little boxers. I think that any average 250 pound dude with a little bit of training could knock out the biggest champions that are super flyweights. Super flyweights are tiny, tiny, tiny. Bro, have you ever met a 150 pound grown up adult man? You know how rare it is to run across somebody that small? It's like a little kid. Like little kids at 10 years old are bigger than that now. If you're losing fights to 150 pound men, then you got a fucking problem, bro. There was absolutely no risk of him knocking uh, Logan getting knocked out. Floyd just can't hit you hard enough to knock you out these days, bro. He can't. He lost, he lost some, uh, he lost some spring in his swing, bro. He just don't, he don't throw it the same way he used to. I ain't saying the guy ain't a genius. He might have passed up. Okay, here's my top two smartest boxers. Boxing experts, okay? Cus, Customata. Is the is the smartest boxing mind to ever be in boxing? Cuss, Mike Tyson's original boxing manager uh, was was the smartest, straight up. Okay. Um, after that, I think Teddy Atlas is still is now the smartest um, boxing expert in my mind, okay? So, Cus Damata, I'm probably saying his name wrong, but y'all know who I'm talking about. And Cus was, uh, was the manager and Teddy was underneath him, right? So after that, Cus didn't only train uh, Tyson either. I think he worked with Sonny Liston. He worked with a lot of people. But after that, I almost want to say Tyson is the smartest, but he gets too wild. Maybe Floyd is the best, is the third. Maybe. But also maybe, you know, Floyd's uncle died too. What was Floyd's uncle's name? I forget. Roger, Roger Mayweather just passed. And uh, he trained Floyd mainly. So he's in top five. Roger Mayweather's top five smartest ever in my mind. All right, so we're getting lunch meat and bread. 
Maybe I'll come back. I don't know how long this is going to take. Boy, he's definitely going to go. Yeah, I mean, his defense is great. All right. I'd like a half pound of uh, smoked turkey and 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 honey ham. Right, uh, do you want mesquite turkey or hickory turkey? I'll take mesquite. I, make it a pound of mesquite turkey and a half pound of honey ham. I'm also going to get a quarter pound of pepperoni and salami also. Um, we are out of the pepperoni. Okay, I'll just take a quarter pound of salami. I'll be back. I'm going to do a little shopping. Uh, Sorry. I'll never remember all that. Okay. A pound of mesquite turkey. Right. Half pound of honey ham. Right. Quarter pound salami. Um, go ahead and give me a quarter pound of Swiss. And quarter pound of Kobe. We're out of Kobe. Okay. Uh, make it sharp cheddar. All right. Thank you. I'll be right back. So now I got the lunch meat going. Right. I'll go get. Uh, I'll get some nice French bread. Uh, the big like loaf kind. What up, ninety bro? Good seeing you, dude. Uh, no, I hear you aggressively. He's he's a scumbag, sure, but. I kind of ignore that stuff. I just, you know, I like to judge them by their performances in the ring. Like I was saying about Floyd earlier is uh, I'm not that impressed with his uh, defense as I used to be because I get this kind of bread, by the way. I get the day old dollar bread. Makes some good. It's a little bit too much bread, but kind of hollow it out and fill it up. All right, let's go. You know where I'm going next, brother. We're going to go. I gotta have to get a fucking cart that's broken. God dog it. Anyways, uh, we're gonna go look at the books, dude. Maybe I'll grab a Star Wars book, right? Y'all think? What do y'all think? What are the pearl sugar cookies? I never heard of that. That looks delicious. Pearl sugar cookies. What the fuck? Why not? You know what I'm saying? When in Rome, brother. But uh, yeah, let's go. Maybe if they have a, um, what's the hottest Walmart book out? Help me out, chat. I'd guess it would be the Star Wars, Star Wars High Republic. But I think that book dipped down a lot once it got more available. So is there a new hotter Walmart book? I almost feel like they're a waste of time. I'll tell you what, if I do get one, I'm opening it because I like the second prints they have now. I probably won't be able to get to the line. <coughs> probably some people in it. Okay, we got my keys, got the wallet, got the smokes. Yeah, there's some guy over here. Let's see. Hmm. I might be able to get to it if I walk around. Let's walk around. Hey, my dude's got some drip like I wear. I don't believe it. somebody wearing a diamond necklace. I'm waiting to chat. Wonder Woman, Yarga, 
four green cover selling it for 20 inch on eBay. Interesting. Thanks, uh, great man. Appreciate you, bro. We're in Walmart, so that don't surprise me. Thanks for keeping me. Hey, check me out. I'm on TV. Boy, I'm fat. I am a fat person. These people are just standing here, bro. I don't understand how people are so slow. All right, we're moving a little bit. Okay. I see no books. Oh, there they are. I see some books. Let's flip this around. They got the Black Knight, they got the Wonder Woman. They got a High Republic. Yeah, they got the Wonder Woman. Why is Wonder Woman good? What do y'all think, Wonder Woman? Wonder Woman or High Republic? I mean, if I'm only going to make $12 off the book, what's the fucking point, you know? High Republic ain't a $70 book no more. It's like a, what, $20 book or something? Yeah, I don't know, man. I, I don't see the... I mean, I, I guess... I guess it's okay to get them because of the second prints behind them but uh, I probably just get the Star Wars because Marvel has better second prints right I should go look at more hairnets. I want like a white hairnet, a red hairnet. <coughs> Black's cool and everything, but I think white's the best color for hairnets. My pixelation still fucked up. Ooh, that's dope. Check this out. You got any tips for me? I like that uh, Wonder Woman white shadow. All right, we're gonna look at the toys real quick. I'll probably get some mayonnaise too. Let's see here. There's the Nerf guns. Here's the toys, the figures. Switched out. There's off. There's the Joes. The Joes. Ghostbusters. What's this? These are literally Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle toys last year. Okay. Star Wars. Ah, oh, that's the part I don't like. I get to see the Transformers. Oh, these are nasty. Oh, this Huffer is sick, bro. 
Damn, I like that huffer. Damn it. Shit, bro, that's nasty. Okay, so these are just like the Predaking Target Masters. I've seen those before, no big deal. This is kind of sick. RC, I already got one of those. The Huffer is nasty though, bro. And this one's good too, man. This Air Razor, that's pretty good. So yeah, Transformers are nasty. What is this shit? Oh, that's sick. They got a Kane and a Stephanie McMahon and a couple AEW belts. Not bad, not bad. Not shabby. Is that Doomsday? Look at that Doomsday. Holy shit. It's a lot of figure for $16. All right, well. Maybe I should. Oh, there's He Man. Grace. Oh man, those are good. They don't have a Castle Grace skull, do they? I don't see him. There's Battle Cats up there, though. All right, let's go get my lunch meat. Is the High Republic worth the shit? One of each content. <laughs> That's the one. Oh man, I kind of want the. Fuck. I should get one of both. I don't have that much money. I got enough for one. That's okay, thank you. <coughs> I need to get some toilet paper and pop. Uh. I don't know which one I want. I really wanted that High Republic when it came out. I know that. Let's go grab this lunch meat. I knew my Walmart would get those books. They get, I've gotten every Walmart book that's popped in the last two years. It just takes a long time for them to get them. And now that they got them, they'll have them all the time.
Oh, there's my shirt. This is mine? Yes, sir. Okay. Now it's time to get candy and snacks for a little shot. Already got him some cookies. Pitted ripe olives. I want black olives. Let's go with this one. <coughs> yeah. I might grab a book. Have any good jerky? It don't look like it. Last time I got last time I got teriyaki, it was really bad. It was this one. That one sucks. That one sucks. They all look like they suck. I'm not getting any of them. Nope. Nope. Nope, they all look bad. I want an ice cream section. I'm just gonna get some pop and some ice cream and shit. Get the fuck out of here. Already got it, Gray. Thanks. Oh, ice cream. Little Shack likes red popsicles. I bet he'd like these. Ooh, those are good too. Hmm. Interesting. OK. 
Okay, we're trying this. We're getting both of these. Right. And let's try one of these joints. We might as well get what I like, right? Get one that I like. The one I like is hiding from me. There it is. It's the one I get. Get the Snickers brother. It's the shit right there. So there. Shopping done. Time to cash out. <laughs> Appreciate y'all hanging out with me. Gray Man 90, DJ Lynx. Oh, she wanted shrimp too, that's right. She wanted fucking shrimp. I don't know if I'll be able to find it or not. I should get some bacon. Grab some bacon. She likes shrimp. Let's see if I can find them. I think this is what she's talking about right here. <coughs> she likes these all natural fucking. I think this is what she likes. I think I got it. I'm not sure, but that's, that's what we got. I did, I did. Oh, I almost forgot the toilet paper. So is the Wonder Woman hotter than the High Republic? Because if they're about the same, I think I want the fucking 
That's a tough one to call, man. <coughs> you know, I side with Marvel because the books in the pack are probably going to be better. But the Wonder Woman is probably the better book. to have it. Uh, maybe it's on the other side. Dive on it. Shit. it is is with these women is they're like on their own fucking planet and they're so used to bashing the shit out of their like husbands and shit that uh it just carries out bro the disrespectfulness and shit like that it's really bad yeah the toilet paper on oh here it is good that's the kind to get right here. It's good for your fucking woman too. All right, we're, we're out of here, bro. I'll catch y'all later. Appreciate y'all. See y'all next time. Maybe I'll figure out what the fuck's going on with my bank. I'll check and see if the uh, comic book, I can grab my book before we get out of here. I know I saw a higher public. There it is. Oh, it's number three. Holy shit. Well, that makes my decision pretty easy. All right, guys. We got that one. Later. <laughs>